Sometimes you have to leave your garden and I left my garden for about a week. Now a few of those days was taken good care of by my brother-in-law but he was also away some too. So you never know exactly what you're going to find. Now last night when I got home I did kind of a quick little trip around and I picked a few beans. Um, but today I really want to look at what's happening in this garden after a week of being away. I imagine I'm going to have a little bit of work to do, so let's go assess. Well, one of the first things I can see is that the gladioli are in full bloom and some of them have toppled over, so I think I'll go ahead and pick some of those. Shasta daisies look like they are really coming into bloom now. And oh my goodness, everything is growing so, so, so much. Oh, I've got some really nice nasturtiums down there blooming alongside the tomato plants. Tomatoes look like they've been effectively protected against the evil whatever it was that was eating them. My sister had been picking some things. She's picked some uh, squash and some cucumbers. Oh my, this is a volunteer tomato that I did not find before. I guess I'll just leave it since it's got some blossoms on it. I'll put a stake in it and this will come up here. Got a few others growing amid the onions. Right, this row is looking pretty good. I'm really curious to see what's going on with my artichokes. Oh, oh my, yeah. Okay, here are the artichokes. Looks like I've got three growing there. This one's about ready to pick. And so is that one. Oh good, the snake beans. I've got three that have germinated. Excellent, excellent. That potato is not looking so good. Something has eaten that potato. I know voles get in here, annoying things. All right, I've got some Armenian cucumbers. That one rerooted, that one had been dug up, and that one has sprouted, so that's good. You may recall from previous videos that I was having trouble with something digging up this area, um, and that, that's still the case, but main thing is, I'm happy voles. about this. These are tiny little itty bitty celosia seedlings that I had transplanted really small, um, but they seem to have taken root and they're taken off. So that's good. This row of peppers is really great, but look at this one. This one, this is a cayenne and it's just not doing great. I think I'm going to pull these little cayennes off of it and uh, go ahead and just harvest them and see if we can get some energy put into this plant. This is an amaranth plant and I had, it was an itty bitty 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 seedling. I went ahead and planted it and it has definitely taken root and is growing well, so that's good. A couple of other flowers coming up in here. There's just some sunflowers back there. This kept getting dug up by the creature. There's a sunflower growing up tall. It's going to reach the sky soon. Right, here's the melon patch, and it looks like things are taking root. Keeping the cages around those melons that they started, I think, has been a good idea to uh, get them. I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to put a bitter melon plant in here as well. As you look around, you see a lot of these that have planted themselves and it's not surprising. This is a ground cherry um, and it is self-planted because it's right underneath this uh, arch trellis and the birds love that. So they have planted it everywhere, which is fine by me. They'll end up getting most of them. Golly, when you're away for a week, Things do grow where you don't want them to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this grass out. Things along the fence are always my nemesis. Their melons are moving out. Oh, here my other external row. Wow, these eggplants really grew in a week. Amazing. And here is the tomato. This is the mariglobe. Got some fruit set on Not there. good. These are the nymphs of the... Uh, oh, they're all over this hops plant. Yeah, I'm going to come over and get this with me more. Definitely time to do the Florida weave and tying up these tomatoes. And definitely got to get that. That's definitely on the agenda for the next couple days now that I'm back for a while. Yeah, this bed definitely needs some work. But look at these calendula. These are just glorious, glorious flowers. I'll be taking out these peas. They're pretty much done. In fact, let's just go ahead and pull some right now. All right. Well, tomatoes are really, in a week's time, they really grow. And here is my squash. I did come in here last night and I picked, I did pick some squash and my sister's been planting, uh, picking squash, but you know how squash is. When squash happens, 
it comes. These are the Costa Romanescas, and they are so good. Well, here are my eggplants, but golly, it looks like somebody has decided to take out another eggplant or two. Very, very pretty eggplant. This eggplant needs to be pollinated, so I took the netting off of it, leaving it on the others just to ward off the flea beetles. Looks like this cabbage is getting ready to cook. Yep, it's getting pretty firm. I'm going to give it a few more days, I believe. Okay, I can see Project Cucumber has to happen. Thinning this out, trimming it up, letting some air come in here. Soap. This is my neem oil spray. I took a little time out to uh, put some neem oil spray on that hops plant because there were so many of those lanternfly nymphs on there that they were just sucking the life out of that hops plant. So hopefully I'm going to keep coming back and treating that about every seven days with the neem oil and hopefully we can keep that plant going and we'll get some hops again this year. My husband will be very upset if he doesn't get hops. So a week away I can see what my priorities are. Number one, stake up the tomatoes and put the Florida weave in there. Number two, get that bed planted. Got to do a, a couple of little replantings of them, some things. I noticed one of my pumpkins didn't sprout so I'm going to go ahead and replant that as well. So um, yeah, it's June. Things are growing and uh, when you take a step away from your garden for a bit, you can expect to have a bit of work when you come back. It's amazing what can happen in just a few days time. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll show you what happens when things are cleaned up in here a little bit. Till then, I hope you're well. Take care. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and pick these fallen gladiolas.